Hey there, Mr. Kopi Sharp. I am delaying the start of this video because this squirrel keeps trying to attack me. It is a very, very brave squirrel. It is not a scaredy squirrel. Let's watch the squirrel for a second and then I will start today's video. Ah! What are you doing? I don't have any food! Okay, Mr. Sharp, I don't want to take my eyes off of this thing, but I'm going to go ahead and start and hope that he doesn't attack me. How about we move our stuff? Because this little guy is very brave. Okay, goodbye, squirrel. All right, here we go, Mr. Sharp. I am here right now in this beautiful garden. I am here to talk about the winner of the 1966 Newberry Medal. I won. Let me just put my stuff down. I love these one-take rules. All right, so here we go. I'm here to talk about this book, the winner of the 1966 Newberry Medal. And the reason I'm here in this garden beside the Art Institute of Chicago is because the master in this book actually has a painting inside of this museum. So let's look at my phone. Oh, let me show you my new awesome screensaver. There we go with Boy and Bot. But inside of this building right here is this painting. It's called Kitchen Scene. And if you and I were to go inside of there, we could actually uh, see the painting created by one of the characters in this book. Now, of course, this book is loosely historical fiction because there was very little known about Juan and there wasn't a whole lot known about the painter either. So she used a lot of um, historical license, I guess you would say. This book, I felt, was awfully boring. I loved hearing from people who loved this book as a child and thought it definitely deserved classic status but i felt that many of the sentences were painful to read and i felt like the book just went on and on and on now i did enjoy getting into juan's head i enjoyed learning about his reasoning and his feelings about slavery i had oh, the squirrel's back <laughs> I, oh, okay buddy what do you need all right, I'm waiting. Oh my goodness, animals like to attack me, Mr. Sharp. And now he's coming over on this side. What are you doing? Oh my goodness. <laughs> All right, I'm moving again. This guy owns this park. All right, Mr. <laughs> Let's go back over here. All right, I'm just gonna wrap this up because this is a very funny train wreck of a video. So, book, didn't really like it. Let's look inside the bag. So here again, we have the ARF bag and... <laughs> inside we have as follows. I have, I forgot to take this out of my bag so it gets a second little take. Uh, Rabbit and Robot, which is one of the books that we're, here he comes again. <laughs> All right, this, this squirrel does not want me in his park. So I'm gonna go ahead and end this video right now because if I don't, I may end up with rabies. <laughs> Let's see if he goes by the book. What do you want? All right, I'm gonna go because I'm envisioning this squirrel grabbing my phone and my glasses and taking off and leading a very wonderful life. If any of you out there are aspiring picture book authors, I think I just gave you a book. All right, Mr. Sharp, I'm gonna go over by the Art Institute. I am going to leave you in one piece and I wish you happy, happy reading.